Breaking news right now at four. We have new details just in on the ex-LAPD officer wanted for murder. KCAL 9 Sandra Mitchell is live in the newsroom with details including why the suspect's father is now involved in this case. Sandra. Sylvia, Lena, you're right. It's the case against rookie ex-officer Henry Solis. And in fact, we just obtained this. It's a copy of the federal arrest warrant. And in this, it shows that Solis's father helped him flee the Southland. It also includes some really fascinating new details about the fight that started this manhunt. The 27-year-old Solis, here's his picture, still on the run this afternoon. He's wanted in connection with the shooting death of 33-year-old Salome Rodriguez Jr. Now, Rodriguez was gunned down early last Friday morning after a fist fight at a Pomona bar. The warrant says after that fight, Solis ran after Rodriguez, actually chased him and shot him multiple times. Investigators say they link Solis to the murder with evidence left there at the crime scene. Now, the warrant also shows that investigators questioned Solis's friends, his family, and some witnesses, and they reported that he did make incriminating statements and told them, quote, he would never be seen again. Then Solis apparently called his father Victor. Victor Solis was seen leaving his home in Lancaster in a hurry. According to the warrant, he was spotted at the home of family members in El Paso, Texas, along with his truck and his dog. FBI agents say they caught up with him there, and that's when Victor Solis said that he had driven his son to Texas and dropped him off at a bus station. Now, earlier this week, LAPD Chief Charlie Beck officially fired Solis. So we do have some big new developments now in the search for this former cop. He's accused of murder. We're going to watch the story. We'll bring you any more details as they happen. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Sylvia, we'll send it back to you.